important tonight for beer lovers out there, and we know there are a lot of you. Lakefront Brewery says one of their newest brews is at risk of exploding. Fox 6's Ashley Sears joins us live to explain it's still safe to drink ash, but the problem is with one of its ingredients. Yes, Steph. So it has to do with the pressure built up within this bottle of beer. It contains small amounts of wild yeast that continue to ferment and may cause these bottles to explode. But the beer itself, it's still safe to drink. At Lakefront Brewery, every employee gets a turn. This ends up being a very personal beer for, for all of us involved. From the packaging to the flavors, each worker gets to create their own beer. Last month, Andy Youngworth finally got his chance. I had to twist a few arms around here in order to have the opportunity um, to, to make a, a kettle sour beer. The kettle sour cherry, my turn junk beer, became his pride. I was there on the brew deck brewing the beer with the brewer. I was adding the cherries with our cellarmen into the fermentation tank. I was on the packaging line bottling this beer every step of the way. And now one month later, it's become his heartache. Very disappointing. Of course I'm disappointed. Lakefront Brewery issuing a voluntary recall after three bottles have exploded. Dealing with nature is uh, unpredictable. The beer contains a small amount of wild yeast from the cherries it was brewed with. Where that wild yeast continues to eat the sugars and continues to output uh, CO2 and alcohol and it builds pressure within the bottles. No one has gotten hurt or formally complained. The beer itself is not dangerous. The beer is selling really well. It's delicious and it's still 100% safe to drink. Youngworth is savoring what he can until it's someone else's turn. I really wish we would make another batch now that we know uh, what possibly went wrong, but we're going to move on to the next one. Now, this beer still is being sold. If you have it and you want to keep it, the key is to refrigerate it. If you throw it out before you do, you want to take a picture of this back label here and send it to Lakefront Brewery and you'll get a refund. Reporting live at Lakefront, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. Got to keep it cold, which makes sense. It is beer after all. No one wants to drink warm beer anyways. All right, Ash, thanks for the warning. Appreciate it. Yeah, she said.